Hi everyone, continue with the tutorial for converting from one class to another. Today, and you remember, we use this one to convert from color to gray scales. But today we're going to use a different function and this one has something interesting. So let's try and show you a scale gray equal to mat to gray. And then inside we're gonna give the image this image that we have here image then we're gonna convert it to black and white let's put black and white too and we're gonna use im2 pw scale gray but now we're gonna add another parameter and this parameter is some kind of threshold so from this value from here will be white or for here it will be black so the interesting part here is that the values are not going now from 0 to 255 is 0 to 255 but either 0 to 1 we, when we use mat gray that's the difference and i will show you now and then we'll have in show pw2 so if we run this section you see here our image and then if we go here to a scale gray we see this variable now is double and you go inside oh it's too much values that you cannot print so let's just print it in common prompt just so we can see it it will be a lot of values but don't care so you can see here there are double values from 0 to 1 and that's how we use this threshold depending on the threshold your image black and white will be different it really have a lot of numbers so let's say we choose this threshold 36 and let's show the figure so our image now have more white than before so if we want to show with the other method that we didn't put any threshold here and because also this give us a different value so you go here you see this point 8 and it have from 0 to 255 so if we run this one we can see the image and then if we run this one we can see it have more white so that's all for today in the next one i will show you how to use suit plot so you can put different amount of plot in the same figure and you don't have to print more figures subscribe to the channel give it a like see you in the next video bye bye